my name is Lauren Epstein. I'm here to read poems in honor of this beautiful exhibit. I just want to say thank you to the Africa Center, uh, to Nazareth, Evelyn, um, Vaughn, and their co-producer, Serena, who, and this was also, I think, like commissioned originally by Spike Island. Um, the poems that I wanted to read tonight uh, address the like just the vastness of loss and the melancholy in that uh, when we're displaced from home, um, however that happens, whether you go fleeing, whether you can go with all your paperwork in order and all of the little things that are lost behind. Um, and so I wanted to read from a voice of, um, I think I might have to rewrite to myself to do this, because it looks like there's a really nice, like, classy setup here that I should respect. Um, I wanted to read poems from the perspective of the sun that offer some, like, comfort and reassurance, and just like large us. So, uh, this is Sun to Void. I cannot help my gaze and did not choose this. I was a flurry of atoms. I was a disassembled spark. I desired impression. I desired progeny. Then the Lord said unto me, suppose a daughter, does it please you? Immensely, immeasurably. But I was not myself a daughter, could be no mother of one or three. So I was given all daughters, all blooms, all fruits, at first, I was a lamp, craned above a clovered garden. The roots, they suckled the dirt, and lashed it, and crawled for eons. Then they were standing upright all over the earth, my gaze, my gaze horizon, my origination fogged, my eyes searched forever, my gaze compassing. I ask God to turn me away, give me eyelids, give me veil, give me some cover like every other God. Please, please ease me, God, until God grew weary of my weary and fixed for me an axis. God said, wait, repeated, wait. I gave you daughters on daughters. Are you not pleased? I do not know pleasure. I know not what I become. God said, your touch is incomprehensible. Now you know me, no fathom between us. All men turn their faces to you, but verily they turn away. They tarry home. And so many of the poems in the sequence um, also address various empires and uh, landscapes that have been destroyed by war, and then also just general ideas and witness um, of war, also from the perspective of the sun. Sun to God. The children walked, then they began to run. Why are we running, one asked. No one knew. They ran faster. They began laughing. Why are we laughing? Not one knew. They laughed more. It was the eve of war, but they didn't know. The children walked. The children's parents walked. The parents' parents walked. Their shadows spilled ahead. Their shadows lagged behind. 
Then they began to run. No one was left. Introduction through parables, but I was named after a well. My sister, too. After holy wells distant from each other, we are distant from each other. Our mother didn't intend it. War is the frantic wet nurse running between us. We are both thirsty. We are all thirsty. There is no divine child to make our waters holy. Our waters heal no affliction. Who would supplicate at our bases, seek our waters? In parables, girls are never divine, only their mothers. But like Abraham, I ask God to show himself. I ask in the plains. I ask in the desert. He answers me with light. He answers me with metal, tea with an iron flavor. We sell it town to town, migrants in our own wild bush. Gun, metal, sweat, weapon, oil, in the light and luck lines of my palm, we traverse the land. We move with shadow. We are guided by water. I ask God to show himself. A prophet cornered birds and waited for God. Yet another was given a hoopoo that spoke. Some have war birds. They too look. They too make reports. We live in a time machines have emissaries. But like Abraham, it's not possible to destroy me. They try by fire and by sand. They try by metal and by verse. Still I traverse my land without a sister, with no family, not even a man who no longer accepts a hand on this chest when frantic myself. Strange women, strange girls traverse in this parable. Men and boys attain Godhood. They send war to run hill to hill, well to well. War runs so fast, she loses a shoe. There is no holy child. War ran with empty arms and empty shawl. When men and their boys come to a frenzy, they can't submit to anything. No thing is a kindness. Nothing is a kindness. Don't touch me. Don't look at me with their whole persons. No one supplicates the frantic gods. Their command has no end. It can never become story. It can never become ritual. I 
I'm subject to you in the way the water is subject to the moon. You are subject to me in the way a wall is subject to its roof. And like the water, I expect you to come upon me of a sudden, like flesh out of a slit in cloth. And like the wall, you expect intimate collapses, capillaries of change inscribed day by day on our surfaces. I came to you with water from my deep well. I came to you with earth for your ready water. Water in every crevice for the valley that divides your tongue. I held your head in my lap and traveled the many roads leading out of that valley. Thank you.